The MPD stands for multi-purpose device. Multi-purpose can be used as a pulley and a horse system. It's utilized as a belay device and it's utilized as a lowering device or descent control device. Here we have the throttle, the brake, spin it over, and we have the back plate. Slides open and closed. Here we have our cam, which is operated by the throttle and by the brake. And then we have a first friction point and a secondary friction point for heavier loads. She's designed to accommodate 13 millimeter rope or half inch rope. It will handle a load anywhere from 10,000 pounds to 5,000 pounds, depending on usage and how the load is applied. Here we have a 7,000 pound becket to attach additional pulleys and or accessories. To reeve the MPD, place your hand through the throttle, spin it over so it's sitting in the palm of your hand. Slide open the gate and take a bite of rope and you're just going to apply that over the gate. Sliding it down past the cam, catch hold of it or capture it with your little finger and then you can just slide the gate closed. To lock it, take your carabiner. To lock it, take your carabiner and pop it on like so. MPD, once we've spun it over and applied it to our anchor point, um, the control side facing up, we now have our working end of the rope running off to the, uh, coming off from the right hand side of the device or the left hand side of the device if I'm facing the device rather than placed behind it. We need to take our rope, of course, and apply a uh, tie a knot into it. So we want to tie our knot so that our bite is large enough to slip our thumb through and that the tail is approximately the, uh, the width of the palm of our hands. Not too long, not too short. Snug it up tight, pull on all four legs of the knot to ensure that it's secure. Applying a load to the, um, to the working end of the line, I now maintain hold of the uh, rope in the, on the running end and I'm going to just reeve it in through here, catching both uh, friction parts. Let me just turn that. There we go. I catch both friction components of the uh, ID, and I'm going to release the brake. At that point, a significant amount of uh, force is required in order to affect travel on it, so I'm going to release the throttle, remove one friction component, and now as I open up the throttle again by turning counterclockwise, our load descends to the ground. As I release, slowly release the throttle, it becomes harder for that load to descend. So I can control the speed or stop it altogether simply by letting go. Now that we've reached our point um, where we are still off the ground, but we've reached, reached a working position, for example, if we are lowering a rescuer, I'm going to close the brake. And just in case, case that brake slips, I'm now going to tie again a figure eight knot. And I can leave it just like that if I want. Obviously, it cannot be pulled into the device. The knot is too large. Or if I wish further security, I'm simply going to attach the carabiner, and now it is completely locked off. No way can it travel. To descend the device once more, remove the knot, take hold of the running end in my free hand, remove the uh, park or the lock, and again, Turn the throttle counterclockwise, and we descend the load, let go, and the load stops. To retrieve the load, pull up, and again, it is self-camming, so I can simply pull up. I don't have to man the throttle, pull up on the running end, let go, and it 
self-arrests. I take up the lows, release the line. The line doesn't go anywhere until I defeat it, utilizing the throttle. And allow the line to come down, release it once again. As I pull up, the pulley is activated, minimal friction, and release it at self cams. Let's convert this now from a one to one to a two to one. We'll feed out some line. Apply your pulley middle of the line or anywhere in between. Attach your pulley to the load. Always wear rope rescue gloves when handling a live load. We have a two to one. As so we bring that in. Open up the throttle and release the load back down. Maintaining control always of the standing end of the line. And again, utilizing our friction point. If we want to increase the friction, incorporate the second friction point. Okay? Now we'll convert that to a three to one. No hands were injured in the making of this video despite the lack of appropriate PPE. Now you can see we have our one, two, three lines giving us our three to one. And again, being self camming, I can now adjust my process, extend it out further, bring my load all the way in. Okay, three to one. 